Hey guys, um, so we're going to talk about special orders and I'm going to create this video because I think it's going to be a lot easier than trying to show each and individual person how to do it. So while you're watching this video, go ahead and log on to Retail Pro. Uh, if you can, go ahead and follow along and you can pause this video to kind of, you know, catch up with whatever I'm saying or asking you to do. And basically, this is just how we're going to be doing special orders from here on out, um, whether it's, you know, tack or fencing or pet food. Um, I all need you guys to make sure that you follow through with your, spe your special orders and uh, we will have a much better system to make sure that uh, everyone knows what's going on with them. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so you're in your main screen here. Make sure that you are logged in as yourself. So obviously most of you know how to get to special orders. So you're gonna go to special orders. Uh, I believe everyone knows how this works. This is all the special orders that are active in our system right now. Keep in mind that you can find a special order um, in these areas. So last name, first name. You can also find them here. Uh, so if you need to find them under a certain vendor code or someone's name, you can go to filter view which was right there okay and then you can go to the comments now it's a good idea to always clear all that way you don't have anything funky limiting uh your search so we'll just pull up my name for now because what i want you guys to do is basically always put your name in comment one along with the vendor code if you know what it is if you do not know how to order the special order then put it in my name I'm fine with and perhaps we will put Lauren's name in as well because I think she can help me with special orders. I mean everyone is doing special orders but what I want you to do is just be able to find your own that you've done yourself so you can also help follow through. So I'm going to search my name so here's all the special orders in my name. Something to keep in mind when you're searching special orders guys. So there is the date range button. Okay, you want to make sure that's undefined uh, because if it happens to be on something else, it's going to limit your search and you're going to have a hard time. So just keep in mind like, oh, I'm not finding a special order. Well, you probably need to change your date range. So here's all the special orders that um, I have in my name currently. And, you know, Kelsey from the lower store typically helps me um, do our special orders. So here's one that um, is perfect. So it's got Amanda's name because she's the one who typically orders this. It's got the vendor code. And then it's got my name because I'm the one who originally took the order. So I can revisit this order whenever I want. Um, so now that we're in a special order that is current, make sure that uh, all of this is the way you want it. Uh, you can change it however you would like. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, just ask us. Another feature that I guys that I would like you guys to utilize is so you can. Oops, here. Oops, hold on. Okay, sorry. So another thing that I would like you guys to utilize is um, you can edit your special order and let's say whatever you are um, ordering for your customer, you have no idea what to put it under. You don't even know where we can find it at. You know, we've never seen it before. Anyway, if you don't know, go ahead and put my name on it. I should be able to figure it out between working with everyone. Anyway, so you use the row number 13 to make more notes about your special order. So you can do row number 13. It's just a general number. You hit OK. There's no price there. OK, so as you arrow over, there's going to be um, these item note areas. You can actually click these. And now you can type whatever details you want here. So please, as much detail as you can, like size, uh, when do they want it? Is it a quote, uh, color? Things like that, call this number. So if you need more room to type, please type there and then write uh, look at notes or whatever. And I think everyone knows that comment two here is for the status of the order. So please remember to update the status when you find out what's going on with a product, okay? The more uh, notage, the better. So we're gonna save that. Okay, another aspect that I want you guys to be aware of on special orders is that it's just like a receipt. Uh, so you can go up in this little box here and here's their file and you can look into their file and you can also look into their history also. So the reason why I'm showing you this is because if you have a special order that you're not sure if they've already picked up or they've already purchased, um, let's say it's like a monthly and you need to see 
when they last bought it, you can just go into the special order just like a receipt and then you can go back. That way you kind of skip some steps. Um, I'm sure most of you guys know that. Anyway, uh, so that's that. Hey guys, this is what I imagine we'll have up at the top store. This is kind of the system that we use at the lower store and it seems to really, really work. Um, so we've got this clipboard Monday, Tuesday, you know, through Saturday. And basically I know some of our orders down at lower come on certain days. So it's a little bit easier to do that, but we'll, we'll try, you know, we'll have our own system that will will master. Anyway, so this is how I want it to be. So you're going to print your special order once it's ordered and it's expected to come. You're going to write the vendor code the day that it's expected to come and then you just put it under that day. And basically we'll circle, you know, like it's only going to be this. Blah, 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 blah. And any notage is awesome. Okay, so once a special order is physically gone, um, we can go ahead and inactivate it, okay? Now, there's always a way to find uh, inactivated special orders, which will be really useful if they want to, like, implement an order that they've already done in the past. So I usually ask, oh, have you special ordered it um, with us before? So let's see. What should I do? Okay, so we'll go use my name again. So again, it's going to pull up all the special orders that I've done. We're going to hit OK. So here's the ones that are active. Um, and over here you can hit show inactive. Okay. So it's going to, oh boy. So there's all the, the special orders that I've ever put my name in. Um, so you can then find their last name, um, here and you can find their old special order. And then once you find the old special order, like this one, I remember this one pretty well. Um, go back to special. There we go. Um, then you can hit activate. And now it's going to show up in your regular search, like the one that I showed you at the beginning of this video. Here's a little bit of an issue. So if you take a special order, especially for something that's outside, and you tell a customer that you're going to hold it for them or, you know, it's labeled for them, you need to follow through. Uh, example, someone had talked to a customer and basically said, yeah, we have one gate here. We're going to pull another gate uh, from Lockford for you and everything will be all good. Well, there was no paper trail. So it took Lauren and I a long time to figure out what was going on with that special order. Um, long story short. So here's an example. This gate, ah, gosh, sorry. This gate is basically on hold for a special order. This special order is in the computer. This customer was told that this gate would be on hold for them and set aside. Now, I asked the guys to set it aside yesterday, so I'm gonna remind them again, so please keep in mind that you might have to do that, but at the very least, I walked out here, I printed it off, and I zip tied it to the product because this is the only eight foot gate that we have, and it would be really easy to just sell it to another customer without knowing that this customer was already told this is waiting for them. So I want you guys to be super thorough, please. Um, and the idea is any fencing products, perhaps special orders like that that are larger will go in between the, the barrel shed and uh, the back of the warehouse. And I'll show you that now. But maybe Doug will want to change it. But overall, we all need to know where the special order spot is. Just like we have a special order spot for the feed and a special order spot for, you know, products inside. So we need to figure out a good spot that works for everybody so they could be like oh yeah your gate is sitting here you know your roll of wire is here don't worry it's not going to get sold because that's our job to take care of their products and i've seen it way too many times just because someone didn't do the you know follow through so i really need you guys to follow through anyway so this is the area that i was kind of thinking for special orders um for now let's go with that and then perhaps we'll do something else and I will keep you updated. All right guys, in conclusion, I just want you guys to be able to know what's going on with a special order, whether you took it, so-and-so took it or whatever. Or, you know, you need to communicate to one of us managers if you're totally not sure how to do the special order or what to do to help us basically make sure it gets done. Um, so that's why I'm asking for now, if you're not sure um, who orders it and you're not sure what vendor code, uh, please put my name in there. I'll be able to figure it out. But at the same time, if you know 
as many details as possible, you know, that, that help us all out. So that is about it. I believe in you guys and I am sorry you have to watch this video. <laughs>